Hi, it's Dia. Today I'm gonna to talk about my never-ending battle with sharpening pastel pencils or charcoal pencils. Uh, the ones that I use are from Conti. I really love them. But my one issue with them is that they are really, really hard to sharpen. Okay, so I'll tell you a little story first. I went to I went to the art store and I found this and now it has two holes in it. So I was really excited because I thought one of these pencils, which you can see is a little bit thicker than a regular pencil or even a regular colored pencil. So yes, it fits in here, but it makes a funny little point and it doesn't fit in the smaller size. Now I now this is a Palomino and it's actually for a specific type of pencil. Doesn't fit. Next one. Statler Mars Lumograph sharpener doesn't fit. Now I love this sharpener, this Faber Castell sharpener for Faber Castell pencils and even a few others, but these Conti pencils and possibly other Charcoal pencils also do not fit. Now this one says is universal and it does fit, but it doesn't make a complete point. It's too big and it gets, it gets forced too far down into the opening. Now the smaller one doesn't fit and even the color grip unfortunately doesn't fit. So, I remember from a very long time ago that in school they told us use a razor blade. So I tried to use a razor blade. It was really hard, in my opinion, on my hands. So I got my Ulfa art knife. Now, here it is. As you can see, it looks like an X-Acto knife, but it's more substantial, it's heavier, and it has a bit of a grip here. Now, I fussed around for a bit and I found out that holding it like this and holding the pencil toward me makes it easier. So what I do is start to shave the wood first. I'm leaving the pastel point right now because it's relatively soft and it's really brittle, especially in the Conti pencils. Some of the other ones, some of the other charcoal pencils are softer, like the Derwent's are softer. Um, they're a little more oily. This is like true charcoal in my opinion and the colors are vibrant and I just love them. But like I said, there is the never-ending battle to keep them sharp. Okay, so I have a little bit of the point exposed now. Now I have to be a little more careful. I'm getting closer to the actual colored and pigmented charcoal part, a pastel part. So I'm being a little, being a little more finessey. I'm taking much more care and taking more time. So as you can see, more and more is getting exposed. All right, now some people even expose more than that, but I don't want it to break, and these are relatively hard to find. So now what I'm gonna do is start to shave the color. I roll it back and forth with my left hand, and again, I'm holding it in this funny way that gives me a little bit of leverage and balance and I just start to scrape the color. Now take your time with this because if you push too hard that lovely tip that you just exposed is gonna crack off. So I'm using a gentle force on the way down and on the way back up. I'm gonna move it out of that pile of dust so you can see it a little bit better what's going on. 
looks like it's a little bit of a funny shape now, but if you keep going back and forth, now I also, I go off the edge, or I try to with every stroke. You can see it's getting thinner. I'm focusing a little bit more on the tip now and I'm even going lighter meaning lighter pressure because at this point I really don't want it to crack off now I'm going more in a downward motion to get any excess off Still rolling back and forth. As you can see, it is a little time consuming. And I really do wish that there was a sharpener out there that I could recommend and tell you to use. But at this moment, the best solution to sharpening, especially these Conti pencils, is to use that Ulfa um, art knife. And just take your time and get a beautiful sharp point. Right now it's got a little bit of a flat tip, meaning this way. So I'm gonna very carefully form it into a point. Voila. You can even take some sandpaper. I'm just gonna do it on the paper towel that I have here. And there you have it, a really nice point. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give me a like below and look for my next video, which will be about coloring adult coloring books with these awesome Conti pencils. Thank you, bye.